Hello everyone and welcome to our lesson for today. For today's lesson, we will focus on feel the beats. So let's get started. Materials. The only materials you need for our lesson today is just your thinking cap. So it's time to get our brains ready. There are two learning targets for our lesson today. The first target says, I can identify the name and sound for the letters G, I, M, R, H, P, A, and T. The second target says, I can feel and count the syllables or beats in the words of a poem. Sounds. Let's practice all of the letters that we've learned so far with our letter sound chant. We'll start with the letter G and I want you to repeat them after me. Ready? G, G, Goose. I, I, Iguana. M, M, Mountain. R, R, Rabbit. H, H House. P, P, Parrot. A, A, Alligator. T, T, Turn. Nice work with all your letter sounds. Our poem, The Grumpy Iguana, has a wonderful rhythm and beat to it. I want you to see if you can feel the rhythm and the beat in your body as I read through the poem. I want you to follow along with me. Ready to feel the rhythm and the beats in your body? Here we go. I spy an iguana grabbing insects on a gate. He acts a little grumpy cause he's itchy and it's late. A goose glides on over inspecting the scene. The iguana ignores her. That's really quite mean. The goose inches closer she says, good evening to you. I'll give you some grapes. That's what I'll do. Oh, thank you, says Iguana. Now I don't feel so blue. Wow, did you feel all the rhythm in that poem? All of the words had a beat or a syllable to them. Let's see if we can figure out some of the syllables in our words from the poem. Are you ready? Say the word iguana with me as I clap out the beat. Ready? Iguana. Yes. How many beats are in the word iguana? Right, there are three beats or three syllables in the word iguana. Iguana, right, three syllables. What is the first syllable in the word iguana? Mm-hmm, ig. What is the second syllable we hear in the word iguana? On, right. And what is the last syllable we hear in the word iguana? Uh, right. Iguana. Yes, iguana. Awesome work. Let's try another word. Let's try the word spy. Ready? Spy. Can you clap out that word? How many beats do you hear? Yes, spy. 
it only has one beat. That means there is only one syllable in the word spy. Right. How about we play a game where I will model clapping out some of the words and you have to blend them together to see what the word is. You'll put the two parts or the two syllables together to make the word. Are you ready to play my game? Here's the first one. In sex. What's the word? Right. In sex is the word. You put the two syllables together to make the word in sex. In sex. Right. Here's my next one. Grump B. What's the word? Right. The word is grumpy. Here's another one. Late. What's the word? Yes, the word is late. Just one syllable. Here's my last one. Listen carefully. Inspecting. What's the word? Right, the word is inspecting. Awesome job. Closing reflection. When we listen to or say a word like ignore, how can we count the syllables it has? Yes, you can use your fingers and listen for the beat and hold up a finger for each beat that you hear. How might that help us with reading and writing? Nice job thinking. Nice job finding syllables. Listen to words around you today and try to find a word with even more beats. Thank you for joining me today and helping to meet all of our learning targets. We were able to identify the names and sounds for lots of the letters that we've learned and we were able to feel the syllables or the beats in our words. Thanks a lot and I hope you had fun. I will see you next time. Bye.